Welcome to this week's tips and tricks video where we're going to review how to export a clamping system into the clamping system library used by Work on Seas Machine in Context. Right click on the default or current machine in context and select either modify machine in context or new machine in context. Click on the second tab of the machining context wizard. Now open the clamps library with the import a component from the library button. WorkNC comes with a few components already available for use. In order to add to this library, you can create a CAD file to use or you can use an existing file. The geometry should be drawn as simply as possible so as not to unnecessarily add to calculation times. Here we are editing the file before exporting it, separating the components by layer and by color, and naming the layers per component. Now this vise is ready to export to the clamp library. The export a clamping system to the library function is located under the WorkNC tab in WorkNC CAD. This is the component creation menu. The five options along the top are, Create from selection, allowing you to select the geometry in the display. Select from library allows you to add a component from the library. Copy allows the user to copy the current active component. Use group components for creating sub-assemblies from two or more components, and remove will take components back off of your list. The translation and rotation fields allow the user to either translate or rotate by the entered value and the direction chosen. Export to Library saves your completed clamp into the clamping library. Copy to Drawing saves the tree structure to the drawing before selecting geometry from the clamping system library. Close closes the menu without saving. We will now begin the process of exporting the vise. Give the different components names that will be easily recognized. You can create sub-assemblies using the Group Components button. Use these sub-assemblies to synchronize movements of the base and the solid jaw, for example. This will allow for independent positioning of the clamping components. Here, we now see that the clamp we exported in the clamp library is available. Now notice the checkbox next to the component. It will make it visible in the viewing area. Also notice the pencil icons next to the component. When you select them, they will turn green. A green pencil indicates the manipulator for that component will be available, and you can move those components to the correct position. Thank you for watching this week's tips and tricks video. We hope you found it useful and we hope you will visit www.worknc.com for more tips and tricks videos.